The year was 1991. A new genre of rock hit the mainstream. There was a war going on. Riots. Dollar Tree was founded. <laughs> 1991. Where were you? Remember to subscribe to this YouTube channel, Class Reunion with Chris Logan. Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, got all that stuff. Email classreunionwithchrislogan at gmail.com. Where were you in 91? Think about it. I was, uh, I guess 91 would be sophomore year going into my junior year at Church Point High School. I guess junior would have been 92. I don't know. I, I guess it was. I, anyway, I graduated in 93, so whatever. Um, I'm not good at math, and that should be simple. I, and I don't have my yearbooks. I mean, I do have my yearbooks from Church Point High, but I decided not to embarrass myself. I decided not to embarrass anyone else from the from the yearbook in 1991. Um, so where were you in 1991? Were you born yet? Were you in high school? Were you in elementary school? Were you married? Were you having kids? Where were you? This is also the last year. Remember, class reunion with Chris Logan... We were doing 84 to 99, taking a year every week, talking about pop culture. So this is the last one, 91. Where are we going to go from here? The show's not going to stop. I have some different ideas of what we can do. You know, maybe we'll go back and visit some things that I missed. Maybe we can take years and, I don't know, maybe make it a music segment or something like that. So I have some different ideas. If you have any input, go ahead and send me an email. Class reunion with Chris Logan at gmail.com, or you can message me on social media. So we're going to start with this. Now, it's not a major headline, but, but part of this story made me laugh out loud when I was doing some research last night. Different Stroke star Dana Plato was arrested for robbing a video store in 1991. Remember Different Strokes? What you talking about, Willis? But, but th th that's not funny, and I, she was going through a bad time. But the store clerk recognized her, called 911, told the operator, quote, I've just been robbed by the girl who played Kimberly on Different Strokes. <laughs> that's how we kick off 1991. But how much did things cost in 91? Yearly inflation rate, 4.25%. The Dow Jones closed above 3,000 and, and reached 3,000 for the first time ever that year. Closed at 3,168. Interest rate, 6.5%. Average cost of a new house, 120 grand. Average income per year, $29,430. Average monthly rent, $495. And a gallon of gas, $1.12. Boy, that was the good old days. I don't know, maybe you remember gas cheaper than that, but, you know, that was my time when I started driving. So, um, I, I remember dollar gas, we can call it. Operation Desert Storm. That should be the big headline, not Dana Plato, but, what you know, whatever. Operation Desert Storm, United Nations Coalition Force led by the United States, uh, dropped bombs over Baghdad, land invasion, forced Iraq out of Kuwait, um, you know, one thing I remember, I mean, obviously I was in high school. I remember some of this back then. Um, you know, first off, thanks to all the brave men and women who um, were part of not only this war. I mean, you know, we were in the Middle East for a for a very long time. But, you know, I, I think Desert Storm, I think the name Scud Missiles. Remember, like all the talk was those Scuds and then the oil fields burning. I remember those those pictures. Uh, I think I think I can pull up one right here. But Iraq invades Kuwait under Saddam Hussein in August of ninety, and attempts to annex the country. The U.S. and NATO place troops in Saudi Arabia, in what was known as Desert Shield. In November of nineteen ninety, the UN authorizes the use of force against Iraq if they did not withdraw from Kuwait by January fifteenth, ninety one. Iraq refuses to leave. And the U.S.-led air attack begins mid-January, and that was known as Operation Desert Storm. Ground forces attack in southern Kuwait, uh, southern Iraq and Kuwait during February. That was Operation Desert Saber. U.S. President George H.W. Bush declares a ceasefire in the conflict by the end of February. Kuwait was liberated, and Iraq agreed to honor the terms of peace. 
Super Nintendo. Remember Super Nintendo? Ran about $200, The Super Nintendo Entertainment System featured full digital stereo sound and breathtaking graphics. It was cool, but nothing like we have now. Um, huge characters, 30,000 different colors for your video screen, three-dimensional like effects, included a Super Mario World game featuring the greatest Super Mario uh, character or the, the, one of the most popular video game characters in history. Who, who do you think, and I think they just put Pac-Man in the Hall of Fame, but Mario or Pac-Man? I guess it depends when you come up, kind of like LeBron or Jordan. But, you know, you, you can kind of say Pac-Man started the craze, but Mario was a very, very popular character when it came to video games. Also, if you remember, it had two specially contoured controllers that had eight buttons. That was unprecedented control for, for gaming. You know, the, the, I think it was, what, the two tops, and then you had your buttons and the directional pad. But Super Nintendo was a big deal when that was launched in 1991. Also, the Soviet Union takes the first official steps to break up the USSR during September of 1991 when the Congress of People's Deputies voted for its dissolution. Beginning in the previous month, several Soviet republics started to declare their independence. Uzbekistan, Tajikistan, Armenia, the, they left in September. By the end of the year, the dissolution became effective and the Soviet Union ceased to exist when Mikhail Gorbachev resigned and was placed by the new Russian government. Remember that? Boris Yeltsin wins the first free elections for Russia's first popular elected president. Another headline from 91, Jeffrey Dahmer arrested on July 22nd after the remains of 11 men and boys were found in his Milwaukee, Wisconsin apartment. Mike Tyson hit the headlines a couple times. One good, one not so good. Mike Tyson beat Razor Ruddock in the seventh round that year. And also Mike Tyson was arrested and charged with raping Desiree Washington. Former U.S. postal worker Joseph Harris kills his former girlfriend and her fiancé and two former co-workers at the post office in Ridgewood, New Jersey. Sad situation, not poking fun of it, but that resulted in the phrase going postal. Not sure if you knew that or not. March 3rd, 1991, Rodney King was beaten by LAPD officers during his arrest after a high-speed chase. For driving while intoxicated, uh, driving while intoxicated on the I-210, an uninvolved individual, George Holiday, filmed the incident from his nearby balcony, sent the footage to local news station KTLA, and we all know the rest of the story from there. The footage showed Rodney King on the ground being beaten after initially evading arrest. The incident covered by the news media around the world caused riots and looting in Los Angeles. We all remember about that, what happened. You know, the guy getting pulled from the, what was it, a dump truck or an 18-wheeler. Didn't he get beat with the fire extinguisher? Sad times. Um, 911, the emergency number tested in the U.S. in 1991 in northwestern cities. The release of Nirvana's Nevermind signified the start of the grunge era that would dominate the music scene up to the mid-90s. Now, Green River considered pioneers of the grunge music, music genre. They released their album back in 1985. Um, their band members went on to start other grunge bands like Mud Honey, Mother Love Bone, Temple of the Dog, Pearl Jam, Stone Gossard, uh, the guitarist from Pearl Jam, he was part of that group. Nirvana formed in 1987 and then hit the mainstream in 1991. So a lot of people consider Green River the pioneer of grunge, but when it, when it comes to grunge hitting the mainstream and the charts and radio, Nirvana credited with that. Um, you know, also Soundgarden credited, too, with being one of the pioneers of the grunge sound. Uh, something else that happened in 91. On January 8th, 
A 16-year-old high school student named Jeremy Wade Dell shot himself in front of his English class. If you know early grunge rock music, remember Pearl Jam's Jeremy? That's where it came from. You play that song on the planet, 90s and 2000s rock. Um, so let's jump into our, our music segment. Let's go into the Billboard Hot 100 songs of 1991, year in chart. Brian Adams, number one, everything I do, I do it for you. Color me bad, I want to sex you up. CNC Music Factory, going to make you sweat. Paul Abdul, Rush Rush, Timmy T, one more try. EMF, unbelievable. Extreme, more than words. High five, I like the way, the kissing game. Hey, that's a cool song. Surface, the first time. Amy Grant, baby, baby. Boys to men, boy, boys to men, big back then. Motown Philly. Stevie B with his only number one song, believe it or not, Because I Love You, the Postman song. Mariah Carey, Someday, Damn Yankees, High Enough, Bette Midler from a Distance, Whitney Houston, All the Man That I Need, Jesus Jones, Right Here, Right Now, Janet Jackson's Love Will Never Do, Marky Mark and the Funky Bunch, Get Out of Here, Good Vibrations, Madonna, Justify My Love, Mariah Carey, Emotions, Karen White, Romantic, Tara Kemp, Hold You Tight, uh, let's see, more Mariah Carey, Wilson Phillips, You're in Love. More Amy Grant, Ralph Tresvent, Breaking Out of New Edition with Sensitivity. Kathy Dennis, Touch Me All Night Long. London Beat, I've Been Thinking About You, great song. Natural Selection, Do Anything. R.E.M., Loosen My Religion. Gloria Stefan, Coming Out of the Dark. Lenny Kravitz, It Ain't Over Till It's Over. That's a great song by Lenny Kravitz. And that's a song that I don't have on the planet, but it is coming soon. Uh, Celine Dion, Where Does My Heart Beat Now? DJ Jazzy Jeff and the Fresh Prince, Summertime. Scorpions, Wind of Change. Look, this was, uh, pop music was, uh, was a big melting pot. You know, you still had those Scorpions and you had, um, what else? Like Rock Set, uh, Jesus Jones, those kind of rock bands. But once Nirvana and the grunge scene hit, it was kind of all over for glam rock and, and 80s type rock after that. Uh, Whitney Houston, I'm Your Baby Tonight. Paul Abdul, Firehouse, Love of a Lifetime. Uh, let's see, Michael Bolton was coming onto the scene. Love is a Wonderful Thing. Things That Make You Go, hmm. Divinals, I Touch Myself. DNA featuring Suzanne Vega. Tom's Diner, Another Bad Creation. Aisha. <laughs> I used to like that song. Nelson, After the Rain, Vanilla Ice with his Play That Funky Music, White Boy. Uh, Brian Adams, Can't Stop This Thing We Started. That was a great song by Brian Adams. High Five, The KLF, 3 A.M. Eternal, cool song. Um, what else? LO Cool J's Around the Way Girl. Heavy D, Now That We Found Love. Prince and the New Power Generation, Cream, great song. Uh, Sticks, Show Me The Way, Rick Astley's Cry For Help, UB40, The Way You Do The Things You Do, UB40, Here I Am, Come And Take Me, Tesla, Signs, Signs, Everywhere Signs, great song too, uh, Seals Crazy, Keith Sweat, I'll Give All My Love To You, that's a great R&B song, Tevin Campbell's Round And Round, Queen Reich, uh, Queen's Reich, Silent Lucidity, Will To Power, Tara Kemp, Jesus Jones, Real Real Real, uh, Black Box, Strike It Up. Gerardo, Rico Suave, get out of here, man. I had that that uh, sing, cassette single. D-Light, Groove is in the Heart. Naughty by Nature is OPP, big. Uh, George Michael, Freedom, 90. Warrant, uh, I Saw Red, Winger. Uh, what else? Salt and Peppa, Do You Want Me? Rod Stewart, the Motown song. R.E.M., Shiny Happy People, kind of rounding out the Hot 100. Uh, country was positioning itself for... For mainstream dominance, too. Uh, George Strait had number ones. Garth Brooks was really coming onto the scene. Uh, he had a number one for two weeks with unanswered prayers. Alabama, Forever's As Far As I'll Go. Paul Overstreet, Mark Chestnut. Alan Jackson was coming onto the country scene. Guys like Clint Black coming onto the country scene. Um, let's see, who else? Dolly Parton, Ricky Van Shelton, Rockin' Years, Doug Stone, Diamond Rio, Joe Diffie. Those guys were coming onto the scene. Trisha Yearwood, uh, Brooks and Dunn, Brand New Man. This was kind of the, the, the start of, of, of country in the spotlight once again in, in the mainstream. I mean, dudes around here were wearing jabots and lace-up ropers. 
Uh, let's see, Garth Brooks, Randy Travis, Reba McIntyre, still doing her thing. Brooks and Dunn, my next broken heart. That was that was a number one. Lionel Cartwright. Uh, but but 1991 was a great year for country music. You know, R and B singles, Freddie Jackson, Love You Down, uh, Pebbles, In Vogue. Uh, let's see, High Five, Johnny Gill, Tony, 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 Teddy Pendergrass was even on the R and B chart. I had a number one, Lavert, uh, Peebo Bryson, BB and CC Winans, Color Me Bad was even number one on the R and B chart with I Adore Me Amore. It's so hard to say goodbye to yesterday on the R and B chart. Mariah Carey's emotions. Mariah Carey was breaking onto the scene, and and she was like the next big thing, uh, which she was. Shanice, I love your smile. Boy, some great stuff. Uh, let's see if I can pull up rock songs from 1991. So you know, it, it took a little while for these grunge songs to start hit, uh, you know, start hitting the charts, but. You know, when it came to rock, you two mysterious ways. Um, let's see. Oh, right said Fred, I'm too sexy. Uh, <laughs> that was a rock song. You know, Guns N' Roses still trying to do their thing with November Rain. Uh, what else? So here's Nirvana, Smells Like Teen Spirit. Uh, wow, Michael Bolton on the rock chart. Scorpions, Winds of Change. We talked about Tesla. So you still had Big Audio Dynamite. Uh, Simple Minds, we talked about Queensryche, uh, Extreme, Brian Adams, Ozzy Osbourne, Mama, I'm Coming Home. So you started having, you know, Van Halen was still trying to do their thing, ACDC, Money Talks, yeah, that was that was big at the time too. Uh, dire Straight, uh, what else, Red Hot Chili Peppers, Give It Away, Black Crows, She Talks to Angels, uh, Inya, what? Uh, Guns N' Roses still, Primal Scream, Eddie Money. So you still kind of had that 80s rock sound, those groups still trying to do their thing in the early 90s. But, you know, when it, when it came to rock and Nirvana, Soundgarden, Pearl Jam, you know, that's, that's when it all started to change in the year 1991. What else? So moving from music, the Hubble Telescope launched... The Space Shuttle Discovery launched the Hubble Telescope seven years behind schedule. The telescope was re- was defective, and it required a later repair mission to fix it. In the sports world, the Chicago Bulls beat the Lakers four games to one in the NBA Finals. That's when you know, the Bulls were starting to be a dynasty, the early 90 Bulls, early 90, 90s Bulls. Yeah, plural and plural. Yep. Well, I had a long day. Just, and it's not even, uh, it's like mid-afternoon and I'm doing this on Friday. Uh, but but the Bulls started their run in the early 90s. When it came to the Super Bowl, New York Giants beat the Buffalo Bills. 20-19. to 19. Poor Bills in the early 90s, huh? Minnesota Twins defeated the Braves four games to three to win their World Series championship. Movies. Let's start with number 10. <laughs> the Naked Gun, two and a half, The Smell of Fear. I like those Naked Gun movies. Father of the Bride, number nine. Sleeping with the Enemy. The Adams Family. Hook, number six. City Slickers, number five. Silence of the Lambs, number four. Beauty and the Beast, number three. Robin Hood, Prince, Prince of Thieves, number two. And Terminator 2, Judgment Day, number one. Other movies that didn't make the top ten. I was looking up a few. Cool as Ice with Vanilla Ice. <laughs> Uh, Boys in the Hood, great movie. Cape Fear, Don't Tell Mom the Babysitter's Dead. Point Break, Fry Green Tomatoes. Remember that spoof movie, Hot Shots? That came out. Um, Ernest Scared Stupid. (laughs) You know what I mean, Vern? That that was some funny stuff, too. Bill and Ted's Bogus Journey. Teenage Mutant Ninja Tato. Uh, Why can't I talk today? Teen, Because I've been talking since 7 this morning. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2. The Doors. I, I, I like this movie. Harley Davidson and the Marlboro Man. That was out. Remember Stone Cold with Brian Bosworth? And remember Pure Luck with Martin Short? All I remember about that movie, didn't he like, like it was, he, he had bad luck. And I remember him getting stung by a bee. And, uh, and then he swole up. That's what I remember about Pure Luck. When it came to the most popular TV shows, Home Improvement, number five. Cheers, number four. 
Murphy Brown, number three. Roseanne, number two. 60 Minutes, number one. You know, that's when people still got their news and their information from the TV. Dollar Tree was founded. I didn't know that. Also, in 1991, TV Guide published its 2000th issue. Remember scrolling through the TV Guide? You had, you had to look, had the, the days, had the hours. You had to go through your, your favorite channels and see what was playing. Um, you know, then it came out on the TV as a, as a guide. Remember that? They had its own channel. You could, you could flip to that channel and, and see what was playing. Bounty also coined the slogan, Quicker Picker Upper, in 91. The bowl haircut made a comeback. The mushroom cut. Um, and, and when I'm talking bowl, kind of like this, like the bowl haircut. But like, when did that, man, I don't have a picture of this. And I had my hair like this. But remember like dudes would, would almost like they would go shorter on the sides like this. And, and like, so that was shorter than the top and the top was a little longer. I don't know what that was called, but I remember that being popular back in the day. But the original bowl hair, hair cut was... It looked like someone put a bowl on your head and just cut. I didn't. I didn't have that. Thankfully, thank you, mom. Thank you, dad, for not for not giving old Chris the bowl cut. Fashion trends in '91. You know, just right off the bat, I remember the sports look being popular. Sports gear uh, because of the Bulls, because of you know Michael Jordan shoes and and Nikes and Reebok pumps. Uh, hats, shirts, stuff like that. We were wearing that. Um, what else? Still like acid wash jeans. Uh, Jabot's around here. Tommy Hill figures. Uh, you had to go to Brothers in the Mall to get that. You know, back when the mall had uh, Aladdin's Castle, you could go play games. You could go to the waterfall. You could go to the movies. The mall was a great time back in the 80s and early 90s. You know, the, the grunge look had started to come in. Everyone wanted that striped shirt like what Kurt Cobain had in the video, in the smell, Smells Like Teen Spirit video. Turtlenecks, like this lady here, turtlenecks were, were popular. Pastels were popular in fashion. Uh, denim, you know, this crowd pick right here shows a little bit of everything in the fashion world and what, what the regular people were wearing in 91. On May 2nd, the domain Microsoft.com came online. And on August 23rd, the World Wide Web was made available to everyone around the world. Not everybody was on it. It was still kind of early, but it was made available. Popular video games to go with our Super Nintendos. Um, I, I, I was still rocking the regular Nintendo at this time. Um, man, I don't think we had a Super Nintendo. I don't. I, I was kind of coming out of my gaming phase. And my brother was staying with it because he's four years younger than me, but he had got into the Sega stuff. But popular video games, Street Fighter II, The World Warrior, Sonic the Hedgehog, speaking of Sega, A Link to the Past, Final Fantasy IV, Lemmings, Mega Man IV. Dang, Mega Man was on number 491. Another World, The Simpsons, Captain Commando, Home Alone, Okay, Joe and Mac, Back to the Future 3, Streets of Rage, Road Rash. I remember Road Rash. And also Bill and Tell. Bill and Ted, excellent video game adventure was out. I, I, we we got to get to to um to the end of this thing. Because I'm serious. I've been talking since this morning. Doing the morning show on the planet, 90s and 2000s rock. I left the studio, went to Motor City because I'm their new spokesman now. So I, I did, Jeff and I did videos for about an hour and a half. So that was like constantly talking. Then I come back here, and I'm like, man, I didn't do my video. So here I am talking again. This afternoon, don't talk to me. <laughs> no, you can't. I'm just picking. But uh, the best-selling car, the Honda Accord. I remember the Accord being, being popular. Best-selling truck, go ahead and say it with me, the Ford F-150. And the two-tones were the ones to get like this truck. My dad had a 92 Ford F-250 as his work truck, and it was the emerald green, tan emerald green. Another headline, Paul Rubens, a.k.a. Pee Wee Herman, arrested in, in a Florida movie theater for indecent exposure. 
Comedian Red Fox suffered a fatal heart attack on the set. No one came to his aid because why? They thought he was doing his classic I'm coming Elizabeth fake heart attack routine from Sanford and Son. Can you imagine that? You know, going out like that, going out on the set though, going out doing something you love, but but everyone think you're joking because that was his thing from like years back. Funny guy, Red Fox. And that'll do it. Not because I can't talk anymore and I'm mumbling words, but that's that's all my notes for today. So this is the final year, 1991. Where do we go from here with the class reunion? Obviously, there's going to be some revisits. You know, I think we can take some episodes where we may specifically talk about some of the, the great years in music, movies. Maybe, I don't know, I'll have a co-host on with me. I don't know where we're going to go, but, but I think we're going to continue on with the class reunion with Chris Logan. So make sure to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Follow on social media. Uh, what, Facebook, Instagram, TikTok. Just drop the A in the end. TikTok is class reunion with Chris Logue. Email class reunion with Chris Logan at gmail.com. But I'd love to get your thoughts on, on where we should go with the class reunion. Boy, it was great. It was fun. Not done, but I really enjoyed doing this. Thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Make sure to tell somebody uh, about this show that digs 80s and 90s pop culture, and I appreciate it.